Welcome to the SharePoint training on how to create SharePoint list. There are many ways to create SharePoint list. Some of them are through the client object model using CSOM or REST or directly on the server using PowerShell or a console application or C Sharp or a SharePoint empty project. For now, we will have a look at how to create a simple SharePoint list using the C Sharp console app application from Visual Studio. Before moving on to the demo, let's discuss the few steps needed. The first step is you need to decide the properties of the list. What is the name of the list? What is the template type of the list? And what is the description of the list? Please keep track of that in your mind. Next step is to find out the URL of the site which will host your list. Finally, you go and open up your SharePoint project, add the reference to Microsoft SharePoint DLL if it's not there, and start typing your code. In your code, first you would get the site object using a SP site and for passing the site URL parameter. And then you would open up your SP web using the SP web object. Next, you would get the list of the web object. Finally, you would, uh, you would add the list to the web using the add method. And for the add method, what are the parameters you pass? Title, description, and template type. Let's go and have a look at the demo. Click Start All Programs, Microsoft Visual Studio. Right click, Run as Administrator. Click New Project, choose Visual C Sharp and Windows, choose Console Application and rename as Create List. Click OK. Add a reference to Microsoft SharePoint DLL. Right click, click Add Reference. Give a search for SharePoint Assembly. Click OK. Next, make sure you note that the project property points to x64 and not something else. Open up the project properties in the build tab. Instead of any CPU, please choose x64. To ensure that it points to the 64 bit. Next, open up the program.cs. And now we'll have a look at the code we are going to do. Inside the try catch block, we'll have some code. Before that, Let's add a reference to the Microsoft.SharePoint DLL using Microsoft.SharePoint. And within the main, main program, we have, let's start off with the try catch block. So inside the try catch, we have the code which will first get the URL from the user, the site URL which will be hosting your list. Next, we open up the URL using SP site and SP web the site dot root web from the parameter URL. Next, we get the name of the list using uh, the console read line. After that, we get the description of the list and store it in a variable called list description. Next is to get the list templates. So for that, we convert the enum data type of SP list templates, store that in a variable called templates. And we list all the templates, and the user can merely choose the by uh, choose the template by typing the name of the template by typing the name of the template. Okay, then we do a read line to get the input of the template from the user. Finally, we merely add the list using web.list.add. 
passing the title, description, and template type as the parameter. And once that is successfully done, it will be stored in a variable list GUID. And we print the GUID of the list. And uh, that's it. If there's any exception, that will be captured. Let's run this command now. By clicking F5 or pressing start. HTTP W15-SP. Uh, please note that this is taken from the Microsoft Virtual Lab. So if you have a Microsoft ID, you can happily log in and try this from the Virtual Labs. In our demo, let's create a fruits list. Fruits are healthy. So this list contains the description of fruits. So after that, it is listing all the templates available. For our example, let's just create the custom list that is generic list. And click enter. Cool. After a long time, the list with GUID is created. Let's go to the site and see if the fruits list is there. Mm, I'll do a refresh. Yes, the fruits list is here. So this is the fruits list. We have done nothing much like adding columns and all. We have just made, created a simple fruits list. We will see if the description is updated. Yes, here you go. You have the name fruits and the description which we gave fruits are healthy. So good thing about the script is you can happily get the input from the user in the command prompt as we have seen. And as a summary, what all did we do? We merely got the list name. First, we got the list the name, list description and the template type in variables. We got the site object using the site URL parameter. From the site object, we got the list object. And then we added the list to the site using the add method. This is a quick summary of what we have seen of how to create a list from the server code using C-Sharp console application. Thank you.